Blue Lock's characters all possess unique weapons and play styles specific to each player. But what is each player truly able to do with the weapons and their arsenal? Well, that's what I'll be going over today in this series called Blue Lock Arsenal. For today's video, I'm going to be covering Rensuke Kunigami, his playstyle, and the weapons in his arsenal. Now, this video was highly requested, so for those of you who really wanted the Kunigami Arsenal video, here it is. Before I begin though, spoilers for the Blue Lock manga up to the latest chapters of the Blue Lock manga. So if you're not caught up to that point in the story, click off the video right now because there will be spoilers. Now to begin, we need to address Kunigami's playstyle, that being the clinical finisher. Clinical finishers are forwards who specialize in their accurate shooting ability. They are clinical in the sense that they need very few opportunities to score a goal, to be able to strike and place the ball exactly to where it needs to be in order to beat the goalkeeper. Their high goal to shot ratio usually identifies them as clinical strikers. Clinical strikers usually play as center forwards, though other attacking players can often be said to be clinical finishers. Now after emerging from the wildcard, Kunigami's physical abilities and his shooting abilities have skyrocketed since his appearance in the second selection. His ability to finish while within the box is now unquestionable as he's able to now dribble and shoot with both feet. And after emerging from the wild card, Kunigami now aims to score goals on his own using his high level physique and ambidexterity. But with that, let's take a look at Kunigami's core weapons. Now Kunigami's first core weapon is known as superior physicality, first revealed in chapter 5 of the manga or episode 3 of the anime. Kunigami is one of the handful of forwards in Blue Lock who has an extraordinarily strong and muscular physique and he uses this to his advantage when driving the ball down the field or marking players to defend. After returning from the wild card and becoming a regular on Bastard Munchen for the NEL, Kunigami is now more noticeably able to leverage his physique by trapping the ball mid-air with his chest between two defenders and pushing past those same defenders while holding them back so he could set up his own shot. Kunigami also has better control of his center and upper body reflexes as we've seen he was able to keep up with Bacchida's improved dribbling ability for a few moments during the Barja match. Kunigami's physique in my opinion is the best in Blue Lock, beating out both Baro and Tokimitsu, both of them who have very strong physiques and because of his physique that is what I believe makes him such an incredibly strong forward. But what's interesting is that his physique is being utilized incredibly well on the defensive side of the game during the PHG match. We see him use this to contain Shido, and he's doing it pretty damn well. Especially when you consider that Shido himself is a super deadly player if left alone. Kunigami's next core weapon is called Finesse Shooting, first shown in chapter 2 of the manga or episode 1 of the anime. Kunigami has a near pinpoint power shot, specifically for his left leg, that he uses to score incredibly powerful shots, with his standard range for shooting being within 28 meters of the goal. Now this weapon has been shown to be incredibly useful, not simply for Kunigami, but also for whatever team that he plays on as we see in the match for Team X as well as the match against Barcha in the NEL that Kunigami's left leg was the key aspect of the game that allowed for his team to show results. His next core skill is called Ambidexterity, first shown in chapter 159 of the manga. After having competed in the wild card path, Kunigami exhibits the ability to use both of his feet to score goals. He admits to Izugi that he was forced to develop the skill in order to survive in the wild card but was only able to do it in a brief period of time due to his physical attributes. While he can use both feet to shoot and to dribble, Kunigami's left side is still by far more powerful and efficient, though he has chosen so far to use his right for almost all of his shots in the NEL. With Kunigami's ambidexterity, it's very unlikely that we're going to be seeing any more of it, simply because it's more used for a scoring aspect and because Kunigami is not marking Shido, and will most likely be marking Shido for the rest of the game, I really don't see Kunigami being able to utilize his ambidexterity to its fullest potential, at least during this game. With that, those were all of Kunigami's his core weapons. But now let's take a look at some branch techniques that come off of those core weapons. The first is called wild card man marking, branching off from his superior physicality weapon first shown in chapter 254 of the manga. Kunigami is able to effectively man mark another player using his physicality and presence to prevent them from playing the way that they would want to. After his wildcard training improved his physique even further, Kunigami is able to completely shut down someone as physically capable as Shido, preventing him from even touching the ball, while in their last match, Kunigami was unable to understand nor stop Shido at all. This just goes to show you the intense development that Kunigami had to endure during the wildcard program. Considering the wildcard program, he was only in there for about a month and now he's on the level of someone like Shido, that is insane development. I gotta say, whatever ego's juicing you with, bro, keep fucking going. His next technique is called Knuckle Shot, branching off from his finesse shooting weapon, first shown in chapter 29 of the manga or episode 9 of the anime. Kunigami shoots with such intense force that he actually kills the spin of the ball, allowing for the shot to curve. We see this technique performed from around 40 meters away from the goal, which is outside of his standard range for shooting. Now this skill was first used and unfortunately has only been seen being used against Team V in the first selection. However, with his wildcard training, it stands to reason that Kunigami would be able to produce those kinds of kicks more frequently, just given the fact that he produces so much force with each kick, which would eliminate the spin. The next technique is called charging power shot, branching off from his finesse shooting weapon, 
first shown in chapter 159 of the manga. When in possession of the ball and holding off two defenders, Kunigami is able to push past those defenders while opening up space for himself and shooting a high-powered shot with his right foot. We see Kunigami first use this during the matchup against Barcha, where he was able to steamroll through Barcha's defenders and take a shot that nearly scored. Now those were all the branch techniques that Kunigami currently possesses, however he does have one evolved skill in his arsenal that I have yet to mention. That skill being Rush Volley, a combination of finesse shooting and superior physicality first shown in chapter 185 of the manga. Kunigami jumps using his physical strength and performs a volley shot while in the air. The original shot was performed by Isagi after he took a shot while being pressured by Kaiser, resulting in the angle of the ball going off course. Kunigami then instinctively threw himself into the path of the shot and jumped to send a volley shot into the net. Now this goal here is actually what makes people believe that Kunigami is a goal poacher. But to me that doesn't make a lot of sense considering when you look at the manga panels here, the shot was legitimately going off course and without Kunigami being there to, you know, hit it, the ball wouldn't have scored. Now, I would even argue that players like Baro and Shido are more goal poachers than Kunigami ever could be. But with that, those were all of the weapons and skills in Rensuke Kunigami's arsenal as of right now in the story. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and are excited for Arsenal Month. Now, as you can probably see by the background, this is a different background, and that's because I just finished my first year of college, which means I had to move all my shit back home. So there's literally stuff fucking everywhere. Hopefully this setup is going to be a lot cleaner by the next video, so I hope you guys enjoy this setup for the next few months. For the question of the video, do you think that we're going to get a wildcard flashback during this match? Leave me your thoughts down below in the comments. Now next week's Arsenal video is going to be about Nico, so if you guys are excited for that, leave me your thoughts down below as well. And because it's summer for me now and I don't have to worry about school, I do have other big events for this channel planned for the next couple months, so I hope you guys are excited for that. But like always, thank you all for watching, like and subscribe for more content just like this. Keep up with me now, keep up, keep up, keep up.